What's up guys, today's point of view tutorial number 19 and today I'm teaching you guys how to ollie onto and over something, a box for example. Ollieing onto or over something is very fun and satisfying when you first learn it. It's definitely a little harder than just ollieing on flat ground and it was actually requested by some of you in the comments, so that's why I decided to make a full tutorial on it. So first off, before you try ollieing onto or over something, you have to make sure that you have your ollies down just riding around. I already have a tutorial on how to ollie on flat ground, so watch that one first if you aren't able to pop your board up at all. I also want to quickly say that skateboarding tricks take a lot of time and practice, so don't get discouraged if you didn't land that ollie today. To keep motivated, just look at the progression you made at that trick. And if you didn't make any progression at all, just know that a good night of sleep can make a huge difference. Sometimes it also won't make a difference, but if you just stick to that trick and if you want it really bad, you will get it. Now it's time to get into the foot positioning. Of course, the foot positioning is exactly the same as the foot positioning for an ollie. You want to place your front foot beneath the bolts and your back foot on the till like I'm doing right here. I always tell you guys to play around with your foot positioning though because some slight difference in your foot positioning might feel more comfortable for you. Also your balance can be shifted a little bit more towards the object you're ollieing onto or over since you'll have to slide your board over or onto it. Now let's get into the movement. Step 1. Timing your ollie. This is actually a really important step. Since you're watching this tutorial, I assume that you can barely make it onto the object, so your timing is really important. You don't want to do it too early, because your back wheels will get stuck, and doing it too late will cause your nose to bump into the object. I can tell you when to pop, but honestly this feeling of when to do it really comes naturally by just doing it and practicing. You'll figure it out along the way. Step 2. Jump up till the height of the object. This is just the same as a regular ollie on flat. You want to pop, jump and go up. A good way to practice this is just to ollie and land on the edge of the box with your board like I'm doing right here. If you're able to do that, chances are pretty high that you're able to ollie onto the ledge all the way. Which is gonna be the last step. Step 3. Sliding your front foot forward and tucking your back foot in so you make it onto the object. By this sliding and tucking movement, you're able to get your back truck on the object as well. If you're doing this on a high object, it'll look like you're really dragging your board onto it with your feet. This is also quite a tricky part because it's gonna happen a lot that your back truck gets stuck on the edge. This leads me to the common mistake time, because that is the most common mistake with this trick. What happens is that you try and ollie onto something that's quite high and you just can't put enough force into dragging your board onto it. So the problem is that the object is either too high or you're just not putting enough force into your ollie. So either find something smaller or put more force into your ollie. Pop harder and try and bend your knees a lot more when you're in the air so you can get up the object easily. Don't forget to slide your front foot forward and tuck your back foot in harder as well. This isn't a scary trick, but it can get quite frustrating. Just practice a whole lot and think about how fun it'll be when you get this trick on lock. Don't get discouraged, the more motivated you are and the more time you spend learning this trick, the quicker you're gonna get it. Yes, it's probably gonna be hard and maybe even painful, but if you really wanna learn this trick, you can. Be patient, don't stop, just keep practicing and most important of all, keep it fun. Making progression is fun, it'll be easier to keep going that way as well. Sharing my videos is highly appreciated, thanks for watching, the point of these videos is that it's made from your point of view. It helps you to visualize yourself doing the trick and it's really crazy but there's actually scientific proof that this works almost as good as actually practicing the trick. Besides that, there are already a ton of regular tutorials out there so I'm sure these different ones will help you out. Subscribe for more upcoming tutorials and regular skate videos. Peace out, skate on, learn your tricks, land them, go out there and skate.